Hey, what's going on, guys? Clutch here. Welcome to County Line. Once again, we're down at the courthouse and town hall. Look at this. Uh, we're just signing some final paperwork on something new that's going on for us. We've been working on this for a while, guys. I've been keeping a bit of a secret for you for the last little bit here. We've been working on something on the side for quite some time. And, uh, well, I'm re finally ready to talk about it and kind of show you what's going on. Let's, uh, let's go take a quick look now. We're in town, obviously. We've got a quick trip down to the part of edges of the county. Um, you remember where we used to have our horse ranch? Our, yeah, that horse ranch we had? Well, we haven't really been doing anything with it for quite some time now. It's been uh, pretty quiet down in that neck of the woods. The old horse ranch is kind of done for, at least for now. I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that. But down on that area, we had a slab of property that came along with that area. We purchased that up and uh, well, we're gonna make use of that. Well, we already have made use of that. We've been waiting for a while to kind of get everything built and uh well we finally got it built now it's costing us quite a bit to build this place it took us quite a while just to, to get to this and we had to finance everything but you know what she's finally built things are ready we just find out signed off on the final documentation we're ready to go into production today today we're going into production it's gonna be good so let's go for a cruise i'll show you around and then we're gonna get to work on it hopefully uh, hopefully we make some money on this it should be a good little investment for the farm I think. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, guys. Let's get to work. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys. So those of you who know me know that I'm not much of a logger. I'm more of a farmer than a logger, and that's that's okay. But uh, we're heading down, and we're getting a little bit involved in logging. Kind of lo involved in logging. Maybe a start? Maybe a start to logging? I, I don't know. We'll see how far this takes us down to the horse ranch there we go all right so what we've got going on guys well we have purchased what we have built a bit of a lumber mill so it's kind of where it's gonna start off whoa there we go uh, yeah we're gonna be starting with that and we'll see where that all takes us we've got quite a bit of stuff going on so um, yeah we're gonna see how this works out for us we're not really getting involved in the logging aspect, but we're definitely going to be in the wood business. We'll be getting lots of wood. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So you might recognize this area. Our horse ranch is right up on the right here. You can see the signs right there. That's the horse ranch right there. Now, what's on our left? Well, this plot of land came with that horse ranch. And, well, look what we've built. Yeah, so we've got a brand new sawmill over on the right here. Over here, this is something a little bit different. Let me uh, open the gate on up. Get that up. This, guys, is a pallet building plant. So we're going to be building pallets here and selling them off. We've already got a couple of stuff uh, built here and there. Let's just go and I'll give you a quick tour of the place, all right? Now, no one's working yet. Like I said, we're just getting things fired up here. And uh, we'll be working a little bit later today. We're going to be firing things up. Let me just, you know what? Let's park. We'll park right in front of the main office here for now. And I'll show you around there later. Boom. Perfect. So we've got our plant here. And we've got the sawmill over here. Let's start off. I'll show you through the sawmill quickly. All right. Let's open our doors up. Nice. So you can see we've already got a couple of planks that have been built here. Look at that. We've already been doing some tests on it. Uh, and then we've got, well, we've got the saw, the saw itself right down here. Look at the blades on this. Like, this was not cheap. We even got this thing used. But uh, it was not cheap yet anyways. Several hundred thousand bucks it cost us to uh, to build this whole place up, but I'm pretty happy with it. It's going to make us quite a bit of money. Just it's going to be a cost to get going though. You know how it is. And over on the far side, well, we get some wood chips as well. There we go. We get some wood chips out of this. We'll sell that off as well. But this also means we need new equipment. So <laughs> yeah, nonstop, right? Um, you know what? We might as well turn the lights on in this place because we're going to be coming down here a little later on today, anyways. And uh, kind of getting into production today to see what kind of what kind of profit we can make off this place. Uh, we got one more down here. We got a wood lathe in the corner here, and finally we'll get the lights up on this side as well. There we go. Lights are all on. Things are ready to go. So all we need to do is well, we've got some wood already. Actually, I'm just going to just jump over top the uh, the conveyor belt here. Oh, we've got a little bit of wood already in here. We could turn this on. And just let it go. But uh, we'll leave it for now. It's, uh, I don't know how much we've got in there. We've got quite a bit, actually, it looks like. But we'll need to bring some more in today as well. Now, we're not making, we're not cutting wood ourselves. We're just buying stuff directly from the uh, the sawmill people that 
dropping off that the sawmill doesn't want to handle. And uh, we're just buying the wood directly and then turning into profit by turning into pallets afterwards. So we're cutting it up. And then we're going to bring it over here into this building. Now this building is interesting. This here is a pallet building. Uh, pallet building? Building? <laughs> I think. Um, yeah. Look at this. So we've got a couple stacks here from our test production runs. Get the lights on here as well. Boom. Look at that. Lights are on. Um, it's ready to go. So we just need to get some more wood in here and fire this up. And we'll be uh, making pallets. Isn't that cool? I think this is so cool. So we've got to get this ready to go today, guys. We've got to make some uh, trips back and forth from the lumber mill. Bring our lumber down to our sawmill. And then uh, go to town. Yeah. I'll show you around this a little bit later on. But I want to get back to our farm. Go grab our truck. Get that all hooked up. And then we'll get down here and we'll start uh, we'll start building some pallets and we'll see how this system's gonna work for us. So to get us rolling, guys, we need to buy some logs. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have any equipment right now to uh, to really get into cutting logs down and dealing with that right yet. That's not our game. We're not ready for that yet. So instead, we're just gonna be going up to the lumber mill, which is uh, quite a ways away still too. But we're gonna be buying our logs there, selling them, bringing them back on down. And uh, we're going to be doing all the work we need to them, all the finishing work. And hopefully we can extend this business. There's not much else in the county that does anything quite like what we're doing here. So hopefully it's profitable for us. It's kind of the whole reason behind it. It seemed like it was a good investment at the time. And uh, we should be able to make some decent cash at this, I think. Nice. All right. So let's keep on trucking. We got uh, a bit of a drive today. Let's see if we can get a couple of production runs done this afternoon here before we run into daylight. And then after this, this week here, we'll be running into full effect through the summer, which is awesome. Now, this is going to be more of our winter kind of project, I would think. But we're running some tests right now just to see if we can figure out a way to get this going in the summer, of course. Because we've got a little bit of a lull right now with everything else that's going on the farm. Um, I mean, we've got daily tasks, of course. But you know what? Other than that, we're looking pretty good. Uh, everything else in the fields is good. We're just waiting until fall now. So... This is kind of a, uh, a bit of a stopgap almost, just to kind of keep things rolling on the farm throughout the summer, give the guys something to do. So I've already given a call to uh, one of our workers out there, and he is down at the sawmill firing things up for us. He knows we'll be, you know, another hour or so before we get down there. Once we're down there, it's, uh, it's go time. We're going to see what we get for some money out of this. Hopefully we can get this production into effect. Should be good. All right, sawmill is just coming up on our left here shortly. It's a bit of a track to get up here. It's definitely a long track. Uh, let's see, you know, we're here. Let's see if we can cross the tracks. I know it's on the other side. I always miss the turn here, though. We've only been in here once before, and I missed the turn for it. I drove right on by. I was, I, you ever do that? You just kind of expect that you're going in a certain direction, and you end up just kind of going right past because your mind is get, like set on the direction of where you're going to be going to. And uh, yeah, I, I seem to do that quite often. It's like once a month I'll do that. You know, there's the sign right there. I can see it. I can see it. We should be good. <laughs> All right, let's uh, ease on in here. There we go. Perfect. Over the tracks. Make sure no trains are coming. Oh, trains on county line. I tell you, you gotta watch over those things. Um. All right. So let's go pick up these logs. It's gonna cost us a little bit, but yeah, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We should make it back pretty quickly. Look at this. I do like the lumber mill we got up here. Quite a nice lumber mill in the county. In the county. Um, but we don't really have much for sawmill capacity, so that's kind of why we're thinking we're, we're going to be helping them out with that. You know what? We could probably bring a lot of the boards right up here too and sell them directly to them. Because they're just really dealing with the hard lumber right now. And uh, yeah, they don't really have the sawmill capacity, so we can definitely help them out with that. You can see here they've got what their little sawmill is right in the corner here. Not a lot of stuff going on here, and uh, we can definitely help out and kind of take uh, take the load off them and make a lot of money while we're at it, hopefully. Cool. Well, let's just back this up, and uh, we'll get loaded all up. All right, ready to rock here. We got 15 8-meter logs, so that should keep us going for a little bit. I have no idea how many pallets that would make. That's, uh, that's not bad, though. Let's, uh, let's get going. We've got a bit of a trek still to do. We're burning daylight, guys. Burning daylight. Time to get a rock and roll in here. Let's see. Back over the track. No trains coming down in here. <laughs> don't want to get nailed by a train. Oh, I don't want to get nailed by a train. All right, I think we've got a bit of a different route we can take on the way back down. We don't need to come uh, right through town. We should be able to just scoot down 
eastern eastern side of the county and all the way back down into uh well our sawmill area get back out on the highway here and we should be gtg i believe you know what i just realized i think there's construction down on the road there i think we can cut through this way though i think this way is kind of the detour right now we'll give this a shot this should work though i think we can cut down right down here and uh, we'll be good to go I'm <laughs> just cutting on the dirt roads. And they didn't have much luck with their crops out here. What did they get hit? I wonder if they got some hail or something this spring. But this crop did not do so well on this side. They got a bunch of dead crop here. It's bizarre. Alright, well, we're going to keep on trucking down this road. Like I said, it's going to be a bit of a trek to get back down to the, uh, the southern side of the county where we were located. But uh, we'll get there and we'll unload and we'll get fired up with some pallet making. Should be good, should be good, should be good. The other thing is, well, since we've kind of shut down this horse ranch in here, this little area has been kind of dead. Um, we've kind of quieted everything down in here. There's a whole little hamlet down in here that we've kind of quieted down a bit. And uh, we want to make sure we got some work down here for people to do. So, you know what? That's kind of part of the plan. All right, looks good. Let's pull on in. And we'll just go around the back side here. You can see we've got some other equipment we've uh, brought down here. Oh, and we've got uh, somebody's working away. Perfect. He's down here working for us. That's good. I saw his truck pull in there. Now, let's see. How is this going to work? This is going to be the toughest part. Let's see if we can uh, manage to figure out the best way to do this. It's nice when we can pull straight on in. I don't know. How, it might be a little bit tight for this, guys. Uh, let's see if we can open these doors up. There we go. We need to get down this alleyway, or this, this row here. And then we just pull all the way through. That's kind of the plan. But it's a, it's a tough building to get around in. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze with a big trailer like what we got on there. I think we can do it. I'm pretty sure we can do it. It's just going to be a bit tricky. Let's see here. Let's see if we can just... That's why we got a little bit extra space. And you know what? We might have to make some extra space out here at some point. But I think we have enough maybe to do this. Come on, cut in hard, cut in hard. Oh, yes. Like I said, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, now we should just be able to pull up in beside here, and we should be able to get this to unload nice and close. That looks good right about there. Let's, uh, let's unload this in. Hopefully this just unloads, which it looks like it is. Perfect. All right, look at that. All the logs loaded up. We're good to go here. Um, let's fire this thing up here. Let's see what happens. There we go. We flick the switch. Everything's fired up, and there she goes. Oh, let's see what happens. You know what? Let's get this thing out of here quickly. Oh, it's open. Let's see the log on its route. Dumps it off there. Let me get the truck out of here so we don't uh, see ourselves inside the shop, and we can shut this thing off outside as well. Get it all the way out. We could open some doors here as well, it looks like. Come on. Come on out. Nice and easy. Let's try not to rush into anything. Of course, that's my kind of my MO, isn't it? I'll just leave this. You know, I'm going to park this up along the side of the sawmill here. Cool. Leave this here. We'll go in and take a look. And I'll show you what exactly is going on. Let's run, 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 run. Oh, there we go. So it's hitting the blades already. <laughs> that's great. Perfect. So that's going to hit those blades. And then from there, as it comes down, well, you can see it separates into a couple different piles here. Uh, we've got some spots for the straight boards in the middle here. And then on the other side, we've got kind of the end pieces, the caps. Uh, they're a little less straight. Now, I don't know if there's a price difference between the two of those or not. But, you know what, that's just nice to get the extra profit from that. There we go, here comes the boards. Those look fantastic. Perfect. Come on down. And then you're going to see this separate into two different piles. There goes the uh, the curved boards and our straight boards down here. Load up onto that. And lastly, these ones just get tossed onto here. That is cool. So, I've got a couple stacks out here that are ready to go already to our pallet project area, pallet factory. Um... Yeah, let's go and uh, load it up. We're going to go see how our pallets are going to be looking. <laughs> nice. Very cool. So one of the pieces of equipment we needed for this, of course, was a forklift. 
we needed something to uh, to be able to carry all those pallets around and uh, all the lumber as well. And so we got the Manitou, only this one's got the doubles up front just to give us a little more traction around here. This is actually not bad. This works out pretty well for this task. And the nice thing about this is it fits into uh, the factory so we can swivel around pretty quickly in there when we need to. Come on up. All right, so we're just gonna start grabbing these boards and I'm gonna start dragging them over to our pallet area. And it should, uh, I believe, everything's ready to go in there. I'm gonna go make sure that he's ready to rock. I think he should be. That should tilt forward, shouldn't it? Why is that not tilting? There we go. I was going to say that should be tilting forward. Nope, we got to bring these in a little bit. Looks like we're a little staggered. There we go. That should work. Bring this back and up we go. Awesome. All right, so we got a bunch of these to do. We got four of them to go load into this but relatively quick work in the grand scheme of things. Not a lot of distance to travel, of course, which is always nice. Whoa. And we just drop this off right here. Leave that there. You can see it's already firing up inside. You know what? We'll leave this here for a second. Let's go inside, and uh, we'll take a look at what's going on here, just because it is pretty cool to see this. All right, so uh, don't mind the cage. We're going to sneak underneath the cage here. Should be all right. So you got your blade. Oh, it's through here. It cuts all the wood into position. We've got this machine here that's going to like label or mark everything out and then put all these little blocks everywhere. <laughs> it's so tedious. I can't believe we didn't hire someone to do this. But you know what? This thing can work 24 hours a day where somebody else can't. Um, let's just go take a look in the back. And I'll show you exactly... Well, let's see if anyone's working back here. There he is. I knew he was going to be working here. Monitoring everything that's going on. Uh, we got input of 3933. Output is 199. Wow, we got lots of input. We got to get work on that output. That's uh, a big difference. We got to get that taken care of. Everything looks good over here. This is new, our new shop office as well. So we've got a bit of an office space up in here. A little reception area as well. But uh, this is just our factory reception office area. Looks pretty cool in here, actually. Nice. Now... This is going to work along for quite some time, looks like. We've got quite a bit of wood in here. We're going to get some more. I'm going to go load up as much of that wood as we possibly can. I think we've got quite a bit to bring into here, guys. Sawmill's still working away. That should go for quite some time. I think that's quite a bit of wood in there now. That's two truckloads I think we've put in there in total. Uh, we still had some left over from our test truckload as well. So uh, our, our little test we had running to make sure everything was running properly. Oh, come on. There we go. And up we go. Perfect. Um, what I don't really know, though, is if, if the markets are going to matter too much with these pieces of wood, these planks here that still have the bark on them, I don't know if that makes a difference at all. So we may have to do some test runs at some point with this to see if it's going to make any kind of a difference in prices. I don't think it will. It seems to take it right for our pallets as well. So uh, they don't seem to care too much for pallets if you got this type of wood or if you've got the straighter wood. I mean, it's pallets. That's pretty straightforward stuff. So, straightforward stuff. <laughs> I'm talking about bendy wood. Anyways, um, I digress. Back to what I was talking about here. Um, it seems to work just fine with regard, regardless of the, uh, the the grain on the wood or the straightness of the wood. Oh, it's so rough in here. I should have. We need to get in work. We need to work this out a bit. But uh, it doesn't seem to matter. So, if there was a price difference, though, I might have to try and just take a load of each to the sawmill and just see if they really care uh, if it's straight or if it's the uh, the end pieces or not. I wonder if there's a price in, uh, difference in price. And we'll have to gauge that accordingly, of course. Now, you can, of course, sell this wood directly to the sawmill as is right here. Load up a truckload and go take that up. That might be something we have to check as well and see what our price difference is going to be per pallet, per space, all that fun stuff. Um, it be interesting to see what we get for price differences on all this stuff. Perfect. We got one more to grab. And we should be good to go for the time being at least, but we're in ramping up production here. Pallets are coming out, wood is getting cut up, looking good. This is a fun little area. I like this, uh, this hopefully was a good investment. Like I said, this is about half a million bucks worth of stuff right here. It was not cheap to get this fired up and we're gonna owe on it for quite some time. So hopefully it makes us some decent cash. Come on. So between this and the, uh, the orchard, we've been spending money left, right and center, guys. <laughs> County line, we've been, yeah, we're, we're in debt. But it's okay, we'll make it back somehow. Just gotta keep on working away at it, right? 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, of course, don't forget to drop a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Be kept up to date with the County Light episode we got and whatever else we're going to be doing here next. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Stuck with some wood on my forks. Over and out.